J-O-N, are you ready? Because it's time to open up the market. It's time to open up the market. You see that? You, you see that? That bell made us some money in the bill. The black market is open. Welcome to the black market. How y'all doing? Doing good. Doing good. You was over here telling me about some business, and then we got to talk about some other business. Catch me up on everything. Well, well, again, exactly. Introduce yourself, first so, of all. First of all, my name is Greg. I'm Johnny Witt. Kwame. Yes. So we got Kwame, Johnny, Johnny and Greg. Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. So what is, tell me what it is that you do exactly, because you were telling me it's about five, six different things that you're part of. I have multiple uh, things that, that I do. Right. Um, some ownership, some assisting other people in ownership uh, when it comes to the food and beverage industry. Okay, so, bet. We need to get in there. Yeah. It, that's a good industry to be in. Oh, of course. It is. It's amazing. It's amazing. People eat three, four, five times a day. And not just that. It is, um, and, um, Based on what we're doing, uh, we're assisting people who don't never own uh, restaurants at all. And the growth of a restaurant, and owning the restaurants, um, we just assist them and uh, make them successful. And what's the most knowledgeable is the fact that probably about 75% uh, of the people that we work with and deal with are celebrities. Mm. I hear you. You got a hell of a pitch. Yes. It's a hell of a pitch, man. So how did all this come about? like? I have been in the uh, food and beverage industry, the restaurant industry, for uh, probably about 25 years. And it was my goal to uh, be successful um, in the industry. And I decided about uh, maybe 10 years ago uh, to walk away from it and do it for myself. Mm. Yes. And that's what started it. Who you brought with you today? Well, I brought the president of the company. Uh, and when I say the president of the company, that's what the OPM restaurant consulting um, business that we have. Um, and then we have Johnny, who is one of our assistants, uh, and assists us with the uh, marketing side of it. He look young, man. What do you know about the market? Oh, trust me. Dude, you'll be amazed. <laughs> you'll be amazed. He is young. He is young. And it amazes me because uh, when I brought Johnny on, Johnny was young. Um, and then um, I, again, try to coach these guys. And it's not just the two of them, but it's multiple that I have worked for me and still constantly work for me. Right. Yes. So uh, what is it like being in the restaurant industry as a black man and, like you said, helping people, you know, achieve their dreams of owning restaurants and assisting people in doing that? Well, I mean, the difficult uh, side of it is uh, me trying to coach and teach and, and, and make them understand the industry, first of all. And that is very, very powerful uh, it, because, again, you have people, and I can say uh, the Todd and Candies, I can say the Slutty Vegans, I can say... Uh, the new boat. I can I can give you a list of restaurants that we built out right. ourselves, and because we built those out and make it, and, uh, them understand the restaurant industry. Yeah. A couple of them know the industry. A couple of them didn't know the industry, but each one of them uh, is very successful after we go in and, and build out for them and do what we need to do. Majority of our clients actually do multiple, so we will do their first. Correct. And now they're moving into their third and fourth. So if we were about to do an 85 South restaurant. Mm -hmm. We can hit y'all up and be like, look, this is what we're thinking. Of course, yeah. sir. We can make it happen for you. Make it happen for you. And I can guarantee you, based on our experience, based on our knowledge, especially in the city of Atlanta, um, that in about a year and a half, you'll be ready to open up a second one. And you'll look towards <laughs> franchising. For real? Yeah. I bet. Because I got some dope-ass restaurant ideas. Okay. Hell yeah. Well, let us know. Let us know. Because again, what we do, we start to do from the bottom uh, to the top. We take you from the bottom to the top and we, we uh, start off with, again, making sure that you understand what we have to do when it comes to giving you franchise or giving you the information from the city. And we start from there. And then we take it from there and after that, we go from hiring uh, process. We go from the construction side. And 
Kwame can speak more on the construction side of it than I can. I'm more of a political person. Mm. And uh, Kwame can kind of share with you as far as the construction side, but we do that. But we take 100% of all of that, all of it. Kwame, man, what's the move? 85 South Restaurant. Yeah, let's do it. Let's find a location. First thing, let's find a location. Let's negotiate the lease. And that's one thing, too, I'll let you know. Please have a conversation with a consultant before you sign any paperwork. Okay. Because these guys are trying to get you. That is very important, very important. <laughs> uh, you have to have a consultant. Um, and when I say this, um, a lot of people that we deal with uh, understand or don't understand the fact that when you get a consultant, you have to pay, for, you don't have to pay a consultant one dollar. You do not. The broker, broker. Yeah, well, the broker, but again, the consultant you pay, but the broker you do not. But when you get it from your consultant and you get your broker and you sign your contract based on what you want to do. But you have to make sure that you have your brand in order. You have to have your, your recipes in order. Mm -hmm. If you don't have your recipe in order, then again, you have to deal with us uh, from a consultant side to build your restaurant based on your brand when it comes to your menus. Yeah. So start from your menu. Your menus mm -hmm. will dictate what equipment that you're going to need. And that's where we start in trying to process and build out your uh, restaurant. All right. So Johnny, where you come in on, on this? Uh, so right now, I'm more so on the learning curve. But I'm learning extremely fast. I've um, actually we're getting ready to open our first location, uh, Virgil's Kitchen and Bar over in uh, Marietta, Marietta Street over in the West Marietta area. Okay. And uh, it's close to Midtown. Yeah, there you go. So it's a first one. Yeah, and that'll actually be my first project, and they, yeah. they've helped me out with that a lot. So I'm right now. I'm just learning the complete, the ins and out of this whole restaurant industry, and I plan to be where these guys are at. Hell yeah. yeah I just used to game about the restaurant industry. It's the assistant manager that be stealing. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> that one that closed, the closing manager, still always yeah. the one. Anytime something is fucked up, they got something to do with it. Yeah, that's why you gotta have an ace. You gotta have someone that's in your corner. Yeah, yeah. And, and when Johnny was speaking on Virgil, again, this was his first project that we gave him. Right. And trying to coach and teach him. And I'm gonna tell you, he's done an amazing job. Uh, we did the first Virgils. I think Kwame and myself did in the first College Virgil Park. in College Park. Now we're doing the second Virgils uh, over in Marietta, uh, Marietta Street over in Midtown area. So we're doing that and we uh, just got them approved for everything. But I'm talking about business license, health department license, everything. Let license. me ask you this. We need some more restaurants in Atlanta. What's the process? Why do you need, uh, why do you think you need more restaurants? Man, in we need some more options. Really? Yeah, we do. Okay. Other than that, you speaking on uh, when you say more options, we talk on food wise. Or yeah, what? we need more food. Because a lot food. of restaurants in Atlanta. It's, it's not enough. It's not enough. Okay. Because you know that's one. We have so many people come visit this city. It is a lot for yeah. people who live here, but it's not enough for the traffic that we get through here all year. We need more options. They need to be brought. Well, the option has to be based on you as a, as as an individual that want to create a brand. First of all, a brand, whatever your brand is. I don't care if it's a a, a, a three-tier cheese steak or a three-tier burger, something different that does not exist right now. Right. And I think that that's most, that's most important, mm -hmm. that you create a certain brand. Uh, and the brand has to be different outside of what else is going on in Atlanta. Atlanta has a lot that's going on, a lot that's going on. But come up with a brand, come up with something different, and then we can play off of that and we can help you create that and build your brand. Right. You think I don't have it. You, you tripping. No, I mean, I just, it, that's not the case. So the majority of the time. He don't think I got the brand. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, you, well, you have to have, when I say the brand, the brand means the, the name. I'm talking about the type of food, what you're going to serve. And then we have to create from that once you give us that brand. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, we get phone calls all the time now. We have to start screening our phone calls because yeah. it's like a lot of people are coming. What's the craziest shit people done hit you with? Oh, I have $25,000 trying yeah. to build a restaurant. Yeah. $25,000 for a restaurant. Okay, I'm sorry. You the have $25,000 want to build a restaurant? What you about what to do with that? What you do? Well, I want to sell steaks and all that type of stuff. I'm sorry. Well, you need to call someone else because $25,000 is not going to do it. Not even enough for equipment. Not even enough to even hire us. <laughs> <laughs> Again, because it comes with the consulting uh, agreement between the owner um, of of, try, of that brand, and then it starts from there. Once you, we agree on an agreement, and then we start building from there, and from there it comes with the build out. It comes with equipment. It comes with hiring a, a media staff, um, and and that's what we do. And Kwame, you can fill me in on 
what I'm saying because what happens is that we turn down probably about, um, about 20 people a week from restaurants. About 20 a week. And we have multiple people that's calling us. And I can probably throw out probably 10 right now that you all know, everyone know. Uh, right now, and, uh, and, and they're in the, uh, what I, I, I say, the celebrityism uh, that want to do a restaurant and have the funding for it, but do they want to spend the funding for it? <laughs> yeah, that's two totally different things. Two totally different things. Totally different. Do they want to spend the funding for it? Because when we go out there and we give you numbers and then you don't uh, call us back and say, Greg, I can't do that. Okay, well, don't do it. Don't do it because we have all these other calls on hold. Greg probably said some wild ass prices out there. <laughs> I can just tell you, you can say some wild ass prices, Greg. Well, the, 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 you know what? The price is, is dictated by the system. Nah, you see, there you go, Greg. That's, <laughs> that's how you do it. Dictated by the system. Nah, no, ain't no damn system. What system, Greg? The what city. system? Okay, the system. Fuck the system. You know what I told you I had. Fuck the system. Okay. You give know me, what I said, what Greg. I, that's I, my buddy. Sir, when I asked you, I said, give me a, give me a number. Give me a number. You tell me. Uh, Greg, I got two hundred thousand dollars. I want to build a steakhouse, or I got three hundred thousand dollars. I want to build a seafood place. Tell me, or you got fifty dollars? Uh, now, Greg, hey, man, gonna, I know, I know that ain't a lot, that but you can sell some steaks somewhere for oh, two hundred thousand, young Greg. Oh, well, no, you can. You supposed to be working with people, but but you can, and that's oh, we what are. we do. That's yeah, what we, we do. do. That's what we do all the time, right. and that's the reason why we're uh, in the position that we're in right now because we do. We make it happen for you. Right, but man. you can't tell me you got two hundred thousand dollars and you got uh, uh, ten thousand square feet of space versus a uh, thousand square feet of space for a steakhouse. You can't tell me that. I wouldn't tell you no shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Greg. You better start working with these budgets, man. We might be missing out on a good ass steak sandwich because you telling these folks they need nine hundred thousand dollars and shit. <laughs> no, it no, happens. we're not. It happens. <laughs> it happens. Uh, trust me. We we built a, a pizza restaurant for six hundred thousand dollars for pizza. What the fuck is that at? Uh, and, at Camp Creek Marketplace. Yeah. What pizza are they selling <laughs> and, over and there? Chicago Nancy's. That's why that shit's so high. <laughs> uh, again, six hundred. We built six hundred thousand dollars. They trying to pay you ass that. That yeah, pizza fifty damn dollars. It is. It is. It is. I'm not gonna lie. It is. <laughs> but you know what? When you got to fly, uh, honestly, when you have to fly ingredients and all that type of stuff to Atlanta from Chicago because you want the real Chicago product. You don't want Atlanta product. You want any product other than Chicago. <laughs> it costs. So yes. Nah, I figured your ass out, Greg. So, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> you the one got the piece of 50, 60 dollars. Yeah. 60 <laughs> damn dollars. Yes sir. yes, sir. I promise you, 60 dollars based on their ingredients. Shit. Domino's is selling them for $7. Well, they got to bring their ingredients from everywhere. Please don't agree. Please. I'm just fucking <laughs> okay. I can give you a little on that piece if I have to. I'm sorry. But again, uh, again, we are uh, real. And when it comes to the brand, whether it be the ownership of the restaurants or us building out your restaurant. Right. We are trying to be real. Man, I'm just giving you a hard time. I, okay I already, I got a whole, okay I got all your notes. I know that you out here really making it happen and, and, yeah. and things like that. So where can people, like say for instance, somebody has the idea that, you know, they're trying to get their restaurant off the ground. What can they reach out and get a real consultation? Well, so you what, can tell them they need $900,000. But, but you keep saying 900000 but again. No, no, no. They no, don't, that's, 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 that's not a million. That's not a million. That's not a million. That's not a million. But again, we do have we appreciate um, that. Uh, our information out there. What, uh, uh, let me kind of go back, if you don't mind. When no, I first think. started this consulting business, um, I was approached by my accountant. Um, and a few other people and say, uh, Greg, what are you doing? Because a lot of people was calling me and want to meet with me to open up a restaurant. Right. I would tell them, come to my office and see me. I wouldn't charge them one dollar, not one dollar. That would give them all the information, all the information. And then when I kept getting these calls from my account, they say, Greg, what are you doing? I had to make sure that um, I understand, well, I understood that it was a brand that I was creating and not getting a dollar from it. Not getting a dollar from it. So even now, um, the way we do it is that um, if you call me or you or anyone else will call me. I'm calling you. Uh, well, you call me. And then we'll have a conversation first. Start with that conversation first. And that conversation moves from me to these guys. Yeah, I'm going to keep calling until you say yeah. I, no, I, I'll say yeah. No, but you might be like, no, no, not that one. And I'm like, okay, but, Greg, I got another one. It moves from them and then they'll say, okay, let's do it, let's not do it. 
based on what we got going on. And once that happens, we move towards well, I mean, for us, when the client comes in, we want to make sure that you're capable of even running a restaurant, number one, because mm -hmm. half the people that want to open one can't run one. Yeah. And we, we, we work with people that are going to be successful in the business, or we want you to be successful in the business, so we have to believe in you first before we even sign the contract. So if you come to us and we see you have passion, like, all right, because the restaurant business is not easy. Like, he still works in the kitchen. For real? Seven days a week. <laughs> So the, I, I work in my business. What's your specialty, anyway. Greg? Um, I have multiple specialties. I'm talking multiple. about the shit that can't nobody fuck with you on, Greg. <laughs> you, uh, when it comes to business. No, I'm saying if you're in the kitchen. Well, in the kitchen, well. I that mean, can't nobody fuck with you. Manage your staff. I thought she was actually in there. Are you yeah, cooking? Well, I am, I am. Oh, yeah, he be in that but cooking. I'm in that cooking, but manage <laughs> staffing to make sure that the flow go well and all the food is coming out in time. Okay, what's your <laughs> dish, though? Uh, 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 my dish lamb is... Chops. is um, well, that is totally different. But if you want to talk about my dish that I create um, as an expert is lamb chops. But we don't sell lamb chops at the restaurant. But um, I also do catering also. Okay. Um, so that is probably, I would say catering is probably my specialty. But when it comes to the branding uh, for Nancy's, because it's a brand um, that I purchased, and because of the brand, everything is already situated when it comes to the recipes, the menus, and everything else. So I have to follow that in order to be consistent with the brand. But outside of that, I promise you, you can't touch me on any food. I don't care what product. I, I promise you. challenging no, no, you, no, man. No, 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 I'm just saying you can't touch me on any food. I don't care he's what just, product He's just letting you it want. be known. He's just letting it be known. Turtle soup. Turtle soup? You want me to create it? I'm Show so, me a picture. I'm, I promise you I can make it. Are you familiar with the Sundial yeah. restaurant? The Sundial? Yeah, so he ran the Sundial for... I was, uh, yeah. He was yes. general manager for the Sundial restaurant. For the Western Peachtree Street Plaza, Plaza. Yeah. yes. I was at... I love to see black people talk uh, that at shit, the Sundial. Man. I mean, that's at the Western Peachtree Street Plaza Hotel. Yeah. And, and I come out of the hotel industry, so part of my stuff is I was director. I was director of banquets for the uh, Peachtree Street Plaza Hotel. I started there, then I was at Hilton Hotel, and then I was Georgia Convention Center and everything else, and then I decided to do my own thing. And um, I, we, I created, we created the brand, a Sultan brand, because of the calls uh, that we were getting because everybody was saying, man, y'all doing your thing. You're doing your thing, so can I uh, get in? And I can promise you, uh, I, I can, I'm not even going to list out the names, but every one of, each one of you have gone to maybe multiple restaurants that we created. We created. One of the most challenging restaurants that we created was Slutty Vegan, and uh, Pinky just spoke this past weekend. She did. She did an excellent job. Yeah. Pinky did an excellent job. Pinky purchased a house in Jonesville. This was a house. And when I went there, um, or I keep saying I, but we <laughs> went there uh, as a team and walked in this place, and it was a house. And the house was probably 100 years old. I stepped on a nail my first day. <laughs> like, it was bad. And when we had that conversation with Pinky and the construction team and everything else, everybody else, and she was like, okay, Greg, I'm going to sign it off on you. I'm like, wow. When she said, you are talking about brand. And we built that restaurant and turned it into an amazing product. Right. I don't know if you've all been there. Amazing yeah. product. We built that. I mean, I can't even tell you how it took us to build it out and tear stuff down and rebuild and stuff like that. But that was one of our first product with Slutty Vegan. Yeah. And then she gave us Edgewood. If you went to the project Edgewood, we built that out also. That's dope. We did that. That's dope. That's dope. It's amazing to see what that brand is doing now. And, and it's, she's doing well. She's doing well. And us picking up other projects. And then if we've been in Nouveau's in Jonesboro, um, Nouveau's do the event every Thursday and all that type of stuff. But again, we built Nouveau's for, with Ebony. And, and before we did Nouveau's in Jonesboro, we did the one in College Park. That's dope. We built College Park out. Again, and I'm, that's just a few. Bar Vegan, too, list. if you're familiar with Bar Vegan. Old Lady Game. You've been to Old Lady Game? Bar Vegan. And Pine City Oh, yeah, I've been to Old Lady Game. Old Lady Game? With Todd and Candy? Yeah. We built that. And, and that cornbread, they should deliver that shit to the house. Yeah, well, uh, a lot of stuff they should uh, deliver. Just straight yeah. to the crib. A lot of stuff they should Macaroni deliver. and cheese yes. be smacking. Yes. Yeah, Every, yeah, they should. But again, they're doing amazing. Yeah. Amazing. 
and we have multiple people I have I want throughout because some we're still building some we I mean that has not even advertised yet but we're building out and you will say wow. yeah shout out to uh, Cafe Bourbon Street because I yep. think that's how shout we got this Cafe, Cafe Bourbon Street that's how we got here <laughs> and we can really do that because yeah. yes. that's how we met uh, I don't remember but we were just all in a meeting we just got we just signed them last weekend yes, so we did. yeah we did. we're doing that also yeah that's dope I love yeah. them they got some good shit over there and the thing about us, we're new. We're, we're new. When I say new, um, we're less than 10 years. Really? And they're building this brand out when it comes to the consultant side. Right. Uh, we're new. And, uh, man, we get calls that crazy. We're man, new. well, look, it's a gang of people that watch this all over the world. Somebody got that that restaurant spirit in them, and they're going to want to hit y'all up, man. Y'all got social media yes. or anything like that that you can drop right now? Uh, you want me speaking to the camera? Speaking to the camera. They need hey, that man. info, man. I don't know which camera I need to look at. Pick Y'all one. need to follow Opium Restaurant LLC on Instagram. Go ahead to Twitter, Facebook. At Nancy's Restaurant. Nancy's, what is it? Nancy's, Nancy's Camp, Camp Creek. Mm-hmm. Nancy's Camp Creek on Instagram. Tap in. We're we making restaurants. Ladies, if you take you to Nancy's Pizza, that is a date. Yes. That is a date. Nah, yeah, that's that, a date. that ain't just no that's Thursday that's night not, no, flat back. Grabbing something to eat. That's, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm yeah, plugging you, bro. Okay, I appreciate that. Come, come through. Come through. I'll, I'll give you a $50 piece of it. I'm going to buy it, man. I know you're going to pay for it, but again, I'll give it to you anyway. Yeah, because uh, yeah. from one of them times you didn't know it was me. From one of them times you didn't know it was me. I'm coming yeah. to get my Please shit. Do. Please do. Don't let this be the last time y'all stop through. Because I want you to come back and tell me who hit y'all up out there from the stratosphere. And I want y'all to be like, man, we're working on something big because of that. Yes, and we will. We will. I promise you, we will. I'm getting with my team and my staff. We're going to do us a, we're going to do, at least do us a pop-up restaurant for a couple weeks Let's or something. Yeah. We need that ghetto legend already? burger shack right quick. <laughs> you know, for real. We can do something. Yeah. Bring some aunties up here from Mississippi yeah. or something. Hey, we'll make it happen. Well, what's, what's your rule about family? I'm sorry? What's your rule about family working in the business? About family working in the business? Oh, that's very tough. I don't want family working in the business. Yeah, cool. So, yeah. Not Good thing we ain't related to you. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, the black market is open. We out here. <laughs>